What's up guys, it's a spent man coming to you from the beautiful North Country. Today I'm going to be recharging my wine cap mushroom bed. We're going to take a look at it right here on this beautiful hot North Country day. And look at that wine cap mushroom bed. It's a little beaten up from the winter time and the winds and all the wild weather we get here in the North Country. We can see the cardboard I put down is starting to pop up and we see brambles starting to pop up in there so we're gonna just come in and pull it out um, clean it up a little bit and get it recharged for this season and if we look here we can see some of the dried up dead carcasses because we got so many flushes that I couldn't even really do anything with them by the end of the year we had already dehydrated like friggin' like 50 pounds of these things. So yeah, I definitely recommend growing these wine cap mushrooms. And uh, we can uncover this log here. We can see all the mycelial action going on in this bed. So the wine caps are still very, mat very much alive um, in this bed. So what we want to do is we want to recharge and revitalize the bed all right so we have our wine cap mushroom recharging mix station over here we got some wood chips we got some compost we got some azomite i'm gonna show y'all right in here we got some beautiful compost left over from last year we got some azomite bottom of the bag fell out in my barn so it's going in there and we got our wood chip mixture here comes from my tree prunings from around the property we got some hardwoods in there we got applewood we got some maple in there we have some giant uh sunflower trunks in there too and the great thing about these wine cap mushrooms is that they're really not picky about the medium so any kind of just general wood chipping should work for your wine cap mushroom bed and i made these wood chips using the BCS Bio 100. Check it out. They got Bernie Sanders wearing some headgear there, right? Um, but Bernie Sanders would probably just steal wood chips from his neighbor. He wouldn't make his own, but that's neither here nor there. So we're going to get this wheelbarrow filled up, make our mixture, and recharge that wine cap mushroom bed, baby. Yeah, that's what's up. All right, guys, so we got about three loads from the wheelbarrow over here, and we're recharging this bed. Just going to take out my fancy wire rake, spread it out. We got that hardwood chips, got some azomite, we got some of that high-level compost, and you can see how special the compost is because I dug into this applewood pile I made a few weeks ago and uh, it's really hot and dry out yet when I shoveled into it inside of that pile was wet moist and uh, ready to accept some mycelium so you can kind of see how good the wood chips are um, especially when you go through the process of making your own it's a uh, pretty time and labor intensive um these mushrooms wine caps work really good with the mixtures you can get from the electrical companies and with the cost of gas right now uh, it's probably not very cost effective to make your own mulch but that is what we do out here in the north country since we got the trees to prune we got the chipper, that's how we do it. But check it out guys, we're recharging that wine cap mushroom bed. And uh, now it's just about ready to pop off. We got that heat coming from the solar sun. We have all this really healthy stuff going into the soil. Beautiful compost, the azomite, rock powder. Um, nice applewood, 
sugar maple trimmings from my trees and we are ready to party i think we're gonna get us a hundred pounds of wine cap mushrooms this year out of this bed but we watch and we wait i'll have to make a follow-up video on how the yields are this year and um you can also when you have an established bed like this you can also shovel up the ground underneath it we showed you all that mycelium right here so we're mycelium rich so if we want to shovel up some of that mycelium and make other beds and produce hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds of wine caps we can do it and i'm just about crazy to just crazy enough to grow wine caps uh for my career guys so it might just happen but anyway guys thanks so much for watching that's uh, how to recharge an established mushroom bed and uh, i hope this video had some value to you out there watching this but yeah let me know what you think in the comments below from the beautiful north country this has been the spent man messing around in my wine cap mushroom bed yeah buddy bye bye